Winnebago has announced two from the ground up brand new motorhome designs, a new class A diesel pusher and a new class C, class B plus. I'm not quite sure exactly what you call it. Along with some updates to its entire line. We're gonna talk about it all here today. Hi, I'm Jason Epperson, and this is RV Miles. Here we talk about the latest in RV and camping news, plus gear and tips and a whole lot more. And today is definitely a news video. Winnebago has just finished a virtual product launch. In the year of the coronavirus, a lot is changing and having virtual product launches seems to be one of the newest things that's really coming out of this. And I think we're gonna see a lot more virtual product launches in the future. It was a big hour and a half long or so live stream that you can go watch yourself uh, for sure, but I'm gonna distill here a lot of what I gleaned out of Winnebago's new product launch for their 2021 models uh, here for you today in a much shorter video. And then if you wanna go check out their video, I'll link to it in the description. But I'm gonna tell you everything that Winnebago is looking at doing for next year, and I'm gonna give you my take on it a bit as well. But first I wanna say, don't sleep on Winnebago. A lot of people are always asking, what are the best brands? What are the brands that I can look to for quality? And a lot of people mention the complaints they have with certain brands. And a lot of people mention a handful of brands that they feel are the very best. And I gotta say, I never hear many people mention Winnebago in either category. There's not a lot of people saying Winnebago is a must buy for quality, but at the same time, I don't hear very many complaints about Winnebago at all. And if you look at their manufacturing process and you look at what they put into the quality control, I can tell you that Winnebago is really one of the top brands out there for quality, especially for mid-range quality. If you're not looking to spend $500,000 on a motor coach, you want just a decent travel trailer, or a small motorhome, Winnebago is certainly one to look at. I feel like they really do give the dealerships a leg up in service in terms of providing the parts that they need. Winnebago builds so many of the parts that go into their units. So many RVs are built from all sorts of different manufacturers providing all sorts of different components, but Winnebago tries to put as much in as possible that they've custom built in house. So for instance, they build all their own water tanks, which means that they can be custom built to fit perfectly and provide the most water storage that they possibly can. But that also means they have the tooling set up in their plants to go say, build a new water tank for an RV that they built 20 years ago that has been well out of production. They can actually do that kind of stuff, which is really awesome. I really like a lot of what Winnebago brings to the table for the whole manufacturing process from building the unit on the assembly line and they've built new plants in the last couple of years to really modernize a lot of their production to then bringing it to the dealerships and then to having you know one of the nation's largest dealership networks in order to get repairs and service so again don't sleep on winnebago all right let's start with the biggest two announcements that winnebago put out in this product launch the first one is the brand new 2021 journey journey is a brand new class a diesel pusher and it is you know it's totally built from the ground up in an entirely different way their their goal here was to sort of make a different type of class a diesel pusher and you can really see a different look on the front end of it because it has a sort of angled front end that's supposed to be a little bit more aerodynamic but it's just sort of more unique looking on the front it's not sort of a a big brick it has that little bit of a a taper to just sort of look a little bit sleeker going down the road through this new design they were able to build best in class storage bays 31 inches tall inside the storage base unobstructed and from everything they talked about on the product launch you can tell that they really built this thing for sound absorption so they are intending that when you're driving down the road you'll be able to carry a, a real conversation with the person next to you they blasted this thing with white noise they had all sorts of sound technicians come and look at it and and measure sound pressure levels there's a headliner that runs through the entire coach that brings down a lot of ambient sound so it's not only for driving down the road you get a lot less road noise but then at the campground as well you'll hear less of your neighbors having their little late night parties and your neighbors will hear less of you it comes in a 34 foot a 36 foot and a 40 foot and there's three different interior styles. And the interior is really what I think stands out the most about this. The one they showed in the product launch is very wooden and a lot of people might be turned off by lots of wood these days, but I, I think it looks 
super residential. And I think that was their idea here, is that it is a high-end coach. This is not their top of the line coach. Their, their top of the line is their Horizon, which starts at about 430,000. The Journey starts at about 377,000. So it's still a really expensive coach. It's still a luxury coach, but it looks homey inside, like classy homey. It's not all sorts of gloss and big white tiles and lots of gaudy lighting and, and all that sort of stuff, which is fine if you like that sort of thing. It just feels like a house. It feels like a place that you can feel comfortable in. And they really spent a lot of time with interior designers outside of the RV industry to come in and give a new fresh take on what the inside of a classy motorhome looks like. And there's a lot of little unique touches that I really like. Like the sink can be one giant basin that or it can be split into two and you have an option of changing that while you're using your sink. So if you want that full sink to be able to use it um, or if you need the two different basins to be able to wash on one side and rinse on the other, you can switch out. I think that's really awesome. The blinds are built up into the cabinets, so there's no sort of header for the blinds. They completely disappear out of the way. The bathroom has a powered appliance garage. You can put your electric shavers and electric toothbrush in there and have it be all powered. Everything's real hardwood, and it's all built in their new Iowa Class A motorhome manufacturing facility. They build so much on site. I already talked about that a little bit, but even down to the upholstery, you know, a lot of RV manufacturers have the furniture made separately by a different company, Winnebago for their motorhomes makes them all right there on site, meaning that furniture is not sitting around for months or years at a time. They don't have a big storage facility full of furniture. They might build a captain's chair that goes in an RV three days later, which really helps streamline the production line and it helps when you're ordering a new RV to make sure that you get what you want and make sure that you can get it in a timely fashion. And of course, if you ever need a replacement, they can make it right there. Now, the other big new motorhome that Winnebago launched is a completely different thing. It's called the Echo, E-K-K-O. And it's technically a Class C, just by the virtue of the way it's built. It's a cutaway built on the Ford Transit chassis. So most people would consider this something like a B+, which is sort of like a Class B camper van, but a little bit bigger. It has been sort of cut away but doesn't have the typical class c stuff that you think of like the overhang out over the cab but this thing is totally different than any rv out there you may have seen recently that advanced rv has been teasing their new b box camper van and that's sort of been kind of all the rage over the last couple weeks uh, uh, in the industry that people are talking about and this kind of looks like that but this is a different thing it's it's uh, a lot more affordable, starts at 163,000, which is still a lot of money, but that B-Box starts over 300,000. That's a much more customizable motorhome. That is something that is really more boutique. But this thing, the Echo, from what I can tell, they've really taken a lot of the things from all sorts of different motorhomes that make each of them special big ones to small ones and try to put them in a small package. So for instance, a camper van normally doesn't have separate areas for eating and sleeping and cooking and all that sort of stuff. Normally you're in one sort of space. This actually really does have true compartmentalized living. The chassis is a dually, is meant to really help you get out there and get away from the campgrounds. It comes with 455 watts of solar. I'm seeing a lot this year of manufacturers putting solar on RVs and it's a hundred watt panel. And I'm like, what, what's the point? They put a real solar system on this thing with a real standard lithium ion battery system, 50 gallon freshwater tank in a small camper van, 50 gallons. You can really be out there for a while on that. All the tanks and the water lines inside the coach are above the floor. And there's all season insulation in the roof, the walls, the floor, there's dual pane acrylic windows. There's a big garage in the back that can fit two bikes that's heated itself. So this is really an all season vehicle and it has an optional bat wing awning. So you can be awning out all the way around this thing. It has an optional outdoor kitchen, which is rare in a small camper van to have a really fully functional outdoor kitchen. The passenger seats are real vehicle passenger seats with three point seat belts. So you, you can easily put a family of four in this thing. And there's just storage out the wazoo. There is storage everywhere in every little nook and cranny. It's really just designed very well with very clean surfaces that are easy to wipe down and move on. 
the bathroom on this thing is really interesting too because when you walk into the bathroom there's a toilet and a sink it's not a full wet bath then the shower is behind a big wall that you actually pivot out of the way that then goes in front of the toilet it's also one of the few rvs of this size that has 40 gallon propane capacity they've gone in and put a roof access wiring port so if you want to add rooftop antenna type stuff your internet equipment that sort of stuff onto your roof there's a port that then you can open up and feed those wires through without drilling any holes into your roof. And then you can mount all that stuff to that roof rack system without drilling holes in. So if you change your internet system in a year or two, you don't have to worry about the fact that you made all these changes to the holes in your roof. Really, really smart. They've even gone in and added a full wall thickness insulated door. So you're getting a really thoroughly insulated coach. It comes with a 2800 watt generator, but you can also delete the generator and get more lithium batteries instead of the generator if you want to. Comes with a Truma AquaGo tankless water heater with a recirculation pump, cold water purification system in the kitchen, the holding tank compartments are heated. This just looks like a really excellent coach and it's gonna be available as soon as spring of 2021. I think a lot of people are going to be really interested in this. It may not be the prettiest, but form really followed function on this one. This is really going to be a utility coach that people are going to be able to get a lot of function and use out of. So those are the two new products that Winnebago has announced. Now let's cover some of the changes they've made to some of the other lines. Back to the Class A's. The entry level Vista is now powered by Ford's new 7.3 liter gasoline engine. This engine is a push rod engine that's available on all the Super Duty trucks now and is really built to be something that lasts. It's supposed to be a high mileage gasoline engine that really is low maintenance and lasts a long time. That's yet to be seen because it's a brand new engine, but I think people are universally excited about this eight cylinder powerhouse of a gasoline engine. The Vista now has electronic stability control. It's the first gas class A to have electronic stability control. There's new floor plan with a full slide with a sofa bed or optional reclining theater seats. And it's got a great outdoor kitchen that's really super well thought out with actually a stainless steel sink in it, which I love. I hate when they put those cheap little plastic ones in. The Forza, which is Winnebago's mid-level diesel coach, has a few updates this year as well, including the new 36H floor plan, which has a big bedroom with the bed in a slide that can be a king bed or a queen bed. I really like the interiors on the Forza, and I particularly like the desk interior. They've got this really great two-person desk option built into a slide, which for couples that work on the road is excellent. And I think you're gonna see a lot more of that through a lot of different manufacturers in the coming year. Lots of focus on working on the road. Okay, on to the Class B camper vans. The Solus, which is sort of the pop top camper van, now has an extended 59PX floor plan. This is about a foot and three inches longer than the 59P. And what you get out of that is an 18 inch gear space in the back, a garage for all your adventure stuff. It also now comes in silver. The Travato, the number one gas camper van in America. They have the new 59K and the 59KL floor plans, which have twin beds instead of the sort of smaller rear two-person bed in the back. And on the 59G and the GL that had the, the single bed, that bed has been increased in size a little bit. There's a new dinette with three-point seat belts, an improved winterization package, Winnebago's eco-hot water system, new bathroom designs. All the controls are now above the entry instead of on a cabinet somewhere. There's an induction cooktop that can run off the lithium batteries. And the drop-down bed, which is sort of like a half Murphy, is now aluminum framed, which makes it lighter and sturdier instead of the old wood frame. The Revel, which is Winnebago's 4x4 camper van for the real adventurers out there, now has an improved battery system, it has an improved heating system, it has an improved galley, and it now comes with lithium batteries standard and hydronic heating. On the towable front, the Micro Mini, which is Winnebago's seven foot wide small trailer for really those people that want to tow with their half tons, with their vans, that sort of stuff. They've got a new modern interior, larger appliances, a redesigned Murphy bed, and one new floor plan in the Micro Mini. The Mini, which is a little bit bigger, also has a new interior. They've got six new floor plans in the Mini, 
and an increased ceiling height. They've gone from six, six inside, six foot, six inches inside, adding two and a quarter inches to that to get it up to six foot, eight and a quarter. And the way they've done that, it's, it's sort of taller than other trailers inside. The way they've done that is by putting low profile air conditioners on the roof so that the roof line can be higher, but the overall height of the vehicle isn't higher. There's an electrical management system built in standard. The fridges are now larger and you can get the DC compressor fridge option. DC compressor fridges are gonna be in every RV in a couple years. They are the wave of the future, but also the past because they've been around for a while, but they really sit power and they're way better than a propane electric hybrid and better than a residential fridge. They really just use so little power and cool very, very well, very, very quickly on very little battery power. There's a larger shower and they've gone in now and heated the pass-through bay, which does a couple things. Your gear, you don't have to worry about stuff that can't get cold. You wanna put groceries in there or whatever. You wanna have long-term food storage in there. You could do that. But the other thing it does is it keeps the underside of your bed warm. And a lot of people get condensation underneath the mattress in their bed in a trailer when there's a pass-through bay underneath the bed. That's because it gets cold underneath there. And the difference from the heat of the cabin and the cold from the pass-through condensates the moisture under your mattress and causes mold. That's gonna help get rid of that for sure. The Voyage is Winnebago's larger travel trailer line, and it has an all new interior along with some opposing slide room models that are new. And the Voyage fifth wheel, which is obviously Winnebago's big fifth wheel line, has new floor plans, a new interior as well, and a new frame that allows for an extra 10 inches of storage height underneath. It's really, really cool. The stuff that they're able to do with this new Lippert frame, it gives lots more storage options, but it also gives lots more floor plan options. So if you look at the floor plans they offer in the Voyage fifth wheel, you're gonna see that a lot of them aren't the same that you're gonna see in some other brands because every brand has a lot of similar floor plans, but check them out because I think some of them are really cool. The Hike, which is Winnebago's sort of adventure trailer, which was released last year, has a few little updates as well. They've improved that patented exoskeleton a bit with new mounting hardware, and they have a new powder coating process to really keep that finish real nice. They've also gone and re redesigned the gear storage that sits on the tongue of the RV to provide a better turn radius for the vehicle. So you can really get that turn when you're out in the middle of nowhere. And they've been able to decrease tongue weights as well. So you can pull the Winnebago hike with something fairly small. Finally, this isn't brand new. It was announced last year, but they've They've made a few little updates and improvement. Winnebago's accessible line of RVs. Winnebago is one of the only brands that you can go on their website and look for accessible floor plans. Accessibility meaning lots of things, meaning wheelchair lifts, meaning walkers, meaning vision impairments, lots of different options available for people living with disabilities and you don't have to get them custom made. You can go onto Winnebago's website and look for an accessible Inspire motorhome. So that's a recap of Winnebago's big model year announcement. If you have any thoughts on what you saw, please leave them down in the comments. Make sure to like this video if you got something out of it and click the subscribe button if you want more like this. Now let's read some comments from our last video on Camping World. First time to your channel, I clicked on this thinking I would just hear another rant by a Camping World customer. Instead, I heard a very well done story that sounded like it could have been on CNBC. Great job. Thank you so much, Matthew. Good job. I hope Marcus is listening. Dude, what's up with your hair? Catch a wave. Surf's up. Wow, you aren't just a pretty face. You're full of information too. Oh, I'm gonna blush. This was a great segment and well thought out comments. And you're right, now is the opportunity for Camping World to build on quality. Can't stress that nearly enough as it relates to long-term growth, etc. I love your content and delivery, continued success. Thank you, success to you as well. There are obviously lots of comments of people that don't like Camping World. Reading all the comments here, I see that Camping World has an uphill climb to improve their reputation. I like your diplomatic take on the situation, but don't think their business model will be successful unless they improve their reputation. Great video, Steve. Thank you. Great info and love the hair. Thanks, Mary. Tell that to the surf's up, dude. Nice to see that the big RV sales giant has not intimidated you. Always tell it like it is. That's what we will always do here on this channel. We are not bought and paid for by anyone and we work hard to cultivate your trust with honesty and integrity. And we always will. Thanks a lot and we'll see y'all on the next video. Leave a comment and I might mention it on the next one. Bye.